so at this point you've created a customer report and you also have a customer form associated with the report okay now one thing you would notice in the form customer form if whether you're editing an existing customer or you're trying to create a new customer in either case on the form you don't see that there is a customer ID field at all meaning the form doesn't show the customer ID okay now ideally we would like to see the customer ID even though it's an automatically generated number we would still like to see it okay but by default apex doesn't show it so here what I'm going to do is to show you the steps to make that visible okay so before you begin this uh, exercise what I want you to do is to open up the customer re customer report and edit the customer that you just created a little bit earlier okay by clicking on the uh, edit icon on the left hand side okay once you do that you come to the customer page and at the bottom of that page of that customer form you will see form followed by a number page not form page followed by a number right so I want you to click on that and then what you'll get is this okay so you'll get the details of the customer page okay customer form now what you need to do is if you look on the left hand side okay you see there is customer ID okay it says PK underscore or P something underscore customer ID okay and then if you go on the right hand side here okay you see that this is a okay that this is a hidden form right a hidden field on type it says it's hidden and that's why it's not showing up on the form okay so what you need to do is to drop down the uh, arrow next to hidden and then select uh, display only okay which means that you want that form to be uh, that field to be included on the form but you want it as a display only field okay so make it display only and on the label right below that make the label as customer ID okay so make those two changes and then you can go above here and save and run it and you will then be able to see the form okay so you can save it and then if you run your application and then click on the navigation icon and then click on customer report and then you see the customer report and now if you go ahead and click on the uh, button on the left hand side to edit the customer uh, that particular customer now you see the customer form and you see customer ID okay you see the customer ID now this is a display only field therefore you won't be able to edit it but it's convenient to see the customer ID right there okay so let's do one thing let's just go ahead and add one more customer to our uh, uh, to our database to our table you do that of course by going back to the customer report page and clicking on create and then it comes up with the form and I filled in some values in the form okay so this time notice customer ID shows up but you can't edit it it's an automatically generated field it will come in and then I've created a new customer with the following details that you're seeing on the screen and then I go ahead and click on create okay and then it goes back into the report and now we have two customers okay so that's all there is to making the customer ID visible on the form page okay unfortunately it's not uh, quite as simple to make it visible on the report page because what they've actually done is that these icons you see here they are actually part of the customer ID field okay so the customer ID field is actually visible on the report page but except that they've made it into 
edit icons okay so we have to do a little extra work to to actually get the number as well to display uh, and for the purpose of this project in the interest of keeping things simple uh, I'm not requiring that you do that okay so what we have seen thus far is how to create a form report combination okay and you will be doing this for almost all of the pages other than the associative entities and some of the entities connected to the associative entities and those will become clearer in a later video when I talk about master detail pages so for now this is it